Hi, and welcome to 52 Weeks of Angel Connection. My name is Christy Clemens Hoffman. I'm an intuitive and met, uh, metaphysical healer based in Kansas City, Missouri. I am glad to have you here on our YouTube channel. I'm also the owner of Radiate Wellness, which is a group of six practitioners working in collaboration, mostly based here in Kansas City, but also in Geneva, Switzerland. You can find us online at Radiate Wellness Community. Dot com and of course this is our channel on YouTube. I'm also the host of the Radiate Wellness podcast which also is here on YouTube as well as other podcast outlets so go look, find us on your favorite uh, place to listen to podcasts. So in 2019 Spirit tapped me and wanted me to come to YouTube to learn the platform better to learn and grow in that way and then to to bring forward different angelic beings they wanted everyone to know about them because god knows we need help <laughs> so every week of 2020 i sat down to do a youtube live concerning an individual archangel or ascended master maybe maybe some other for some other form of angelic being um, the year is not finished yet so early on in the year, I was not as familiar with YouTube. I was really a baby, just kind of learning by doing and feeling my way around. And somewhere, my week on Archangel Jeremiah fell through. So I am sitting down on May 11, 2020, to re-record this episode. I really try to make these live videos so that we can get a little bit of engagement and just there can be some, I don't know, some energy behind it. But, you know, this is, I'm just still kind of a YouTube baby. So here we are to talk about Archangel Jeremiah. So Archangel Jeremiah, you may have heard of before. He is the one who helps us when we cross over. He helps us to do a life review. If you've ever heard of somebody who's had a, an NDE, a near-death experience, they often say, I saw my life flash in front of my eyes. Well, that's Jeremiah run in the projector. According to Doreen Virtue's big, here we go, big book of archangels and ascended masters, she breaks it down for us. Now this book is no longer in print, unfortunately, but you can still find it on Amazon, eBay, uh, maybe at a metaphysical bookstore if they had not sold their copy. So she breaks it down for us. Archangel Jeremiah, also known as Ramiel or Remiel. Jeremiah's name means mercy of God. In ancient Judaic texts, Jeremiah is listed as one of the seven core archangels. He's also associated with helping Baruch, a prolific author of apocryphal Judaic texts in the first century AD with his prophetic visions. Cool. One vision catalyzed by Jeremiah was of the coming Messiah. In another vision, Jeremiah took Baruch for a tour of the different levels of heaven. In addition to being an angel of prophetic visions, Jeremiah helps newly crossed over souls to review their lives. This is a service he helps the still living with too. If you'd like to take an inventory of your life up till now so that you can make positive adjustments, call upon Jeremiah. He will help you fearlessly assess your history and learn from prior experiences so that you're even stronger and more centered in love in the future. Jeremiah says, a life review today held at regular intervals will prove to be of great benefit to you in determining your next station and steps. By reviewing your life along the way, you make your duty that much more enjoyable when you get to the other side. You'll already have reviewed the major crossroads and won't suffer or have regrets when you admit to yourself that you could have done better. Archangel Jeremiah helps with clairvoyance and prophetic visions, life reviews and making life changes, psychic dreams, including their interpretations. So a lot of stuff. Uh, and Jeremiah is wanting to um, let you know about an experience I had so he is telling me about these two women at a large corporation where I was leading weekly meditation and teaching them to meditate to relieve their stress. I was also providing Reiki to just help all of the employees. But 
there were two ladies in particular who were coming to the meditation class. And when they first came, and I was there about two years. Every, well, it wasn't every week, actually. It was every couple of weeks. It was like every other week for two years. And when they first started coming, I noticed they had a certain demeanor. They had a certain look. And neither one of them really looked like meditators. Neither one of them looked particularly peaceful. They didn't look calm or free of anxiety. They looked kind of like hard. <laughs> and you know what I mean. They just, their faces looked like, don't talk to me, don't bother me. They just had this off-putting demeanor. And they started coming regularly to meditation. But they also started practicing it on their own. After a few months, they had really settled into it. Well, maybe not even. A few, after a few sessions, they had really settled into it. And one of them had confided something in me. I, I happened to mention that they looked different. They looked much calmer, much peaceful, much more peaceful. And one of them said, and the other one said that she, they had done this together. And one of them said, I just realized that I didn't like my life the way it was. I didn't like how I was presenting myself to people. I didn't like how I was showing up. I was always negative. And I was tired of being that way. So I started the meditation as well as other practices that she was you know, reading more and doing, doing things that she enjoyed. But meditation was really the biggest thing for her. And she would practice it outside of our our biweekly classes in this giant company, this global company, as a matter of fact. And she was practice, practice, practicing on her own, and she noticed that she was so much calmer. She was so much happier because she had this realization. But she was just the one that was speak, speaking to me. The other one was definitely joining in on this path, and they were friends, and they both had this huge transformation that you could actually see. So that's an extreme example, but that's what can come out, out of a life review. So when we sit down and just assess, okay, what's not working here? And we start reviewing our life, how we've reacted to things, what we've thought over time and how that has evolved and changed, how we interact with people and how that changes. What relationships have we lost and why? What relationships have endured and why? We start really just kind of putting thoughts to those memories and introspection and looking at our core values and how they've changed over time. That can really cause a great transformation as what happened with these two ladies. Yeah, so I think that's the biggest takeaway we have from visiting about Jeremiah. You know, I'm glad that I had to re-record this. This was missing from the lineup of, on the playlist, 52 weeks of Angel Connection. I realized, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna um, have 52 weeks if this one is missing. So I decided to redo it. But you know what? I originally recorded that in January. Um, and now it's May. In January, coronavirus, we weren't aware of it having made it all the way to the United States yet. We weren't really aware until like February. So it wasn't on anybody's radar, or at least the common person's radar in January. But here we are in May, and many places have been on a lockdown, although it's a stay-at-home order. We're not, nobody's locked inside. We've been on a stay-at-home order for weeks, weeks, some of us months. And um, honestly, it was a great gift. We had co-created it in a way. We had brought this energy in of the slowdown. We needed something to make us do it like a virus. And I'm not getting into the origins of the virus or anything like that or how it spread. We co-created this time in our collective history. 
but it was a gift. We needed to slow down. We needed to stop being so materialistic. We needed to stop violating the earth. There were a lot of things that we needed to stop doing and a lot of things we needed to start doing. The biggest one was take this time and turn inside. The other top thing was to connect with the people around us and realize what was important. And now we are, here we are in the middle of May and rather than taking this time and becoming more consciously aware of each other and consciously aware of how we're showing up on earth, we're finding new ways of being divisive. We're finding new ways of separating ourselves from others. Do you vaccinate? Do you not vaccinate? Do you wear a mask? Do you not wear a mask? Do you practice social distancing? Do you not practice social distancing? Do you want the economy to open or to stay where it is? Our economy's always been open. People have been able to, to shop and trade services. But you see, there's just new ways to be divisive. So we need to really do this interior work. We were advised to stay inside, but we were needing to go inside. And it's not too late. We can do this. Call in Archangel Jeremiah to help with a life review. Where had my life gotten out of hand? Where have my habits gotten out of control? Where had my relationships subsided or become difficult? We can, we can review our lives at any time. We don't have to be in a pandemic, but in the early days of the stay-at-home order, it was easier. Not, it's not to say that it's not easy, but we're all needing to do this at some point in our lives. So might as well take advantage of it when you can, especially when you're at a crossroads. Some of us are needing to think about how we conduct our business. Some of us are needing to think about how we interact with our community. It's an excellent time to review and to revise the parts of ourselves that are no longer pleasing. So just like the two women who came to meditation and you could see their transformation literally on their faces, they realized that I don't wanna be negative anymore. I don't wanna interact with people the way I had been interacting. I don't wanna show up for life the way I'd been showing up. I wanna change that. We can do it. So there you go. Our visit with Archangel Jeremiah today, I hope you will call on him whenever you need to take stock of where you've been and where you're going. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.